Drawing Lewis dot structures for simple polyatomic ions. In this problem it says which of the following is the correct Lewis dot structure for CO3 to negative. So we have to follow the same rules that we follow for drawing it for simple molecules. But because this is an ion we have to do some extra work. So first we draw the skeleton of the of the Lewis dot structure and we put the central atom the least electronegative atom, so that's going to be C, and oxygens are going to be surrounding that carbon. So, then we count the number of electrons this is supposed to have. So, because we have one oxygen, one's, uh, we have three oxygens, I can go three times six, because three times six is the number, six is the number of valence electrons, plus we're going to have the number of valence electrons for carbon, which is four, Plus, we're going to add the, the charge that we have here. The charge for this polyatomic ion is actually 2 negative. So that means it has gained 2 electrons. So I have to add 2 here. So when I add 2 plus 4 plus 3 times 6, I get 24 electrons. So there are supposed to be 24 electrons in this Lewis dot structure. So I'm going to draw the lines, the covalent bonds, just a single covalent bond connecting all of them. So here we go, there's one here, and so there's one here, there's one here, there's one here. And then I'm going to draw the other, the other bonds here, the other electrons here. Two, three, four, one, two, two, three, four. And so when I draw all of these electrons, notice I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and here, remember this counts as two electrons, so one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is satisfies its octet rule. All the oxygens are satisfied. But notice carbon only has one, two, three, four, five, six. So it hasn't satisfied the octet rule. So now what we have to try is adding a double bond in one of these pairs. So when I do that, I'm going to move one of these lone pairs and going to make it part of the interaction between carbon and oxygen. So I'm going to do it for I'm going to do it for this, let's say this oxygen right here. So when I'm doing that, I'm going to say C and I'm going to draw a double bond and this now oxygen only has one, two, three, four. So two lone pairs of electrons and then these are going to be the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And notice now this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now it's sharing eight valence electrons, and that's exactly what it wants to complete its octet rule. And here also this oxygen, even though it has only two lone pairs, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it still satisfies the octet rule. And now for polyatomic ions, the final part is when we get the correct when we get the correct Lewis dot structure is we put it in brackets so we can explain how we got those extra electrons and we put two negative to indicate that that is the polyatomic ion we're dealing with. So the only answer that matches up with what we've drawn here is A. So A must be the answer to this problem.